Okay, a bit of a history lesson. <laughs> Do you know that women were not, the women's teams were not allowed to have brackets until 2022? Think about that and what that talk about progress, you know, better late than never, but progress. But you know what, just the, how we love, we love March Madness and even just now allowing the women to have brackets and what that does to encourage people to talk more about the women's teams, to watch them. Now they're being covered, you know, and, and this is the reality. People used to say, oh, women's sports, who's interested? Well, if you can't see it, you won't be. But when you see it, you realize all of those things that she said were wrong, which I think is the, is the crux of all of this. Everything she said was wrong, but the fact that she said it with the confidence that she did, or even said it at all, I think that's the thing that people should focus in on. The women's uh, NCAA tournament has been around since the early 80s. Uh, that So just the fact that they got brackets is not new. You've always been able to do a bracket. I think Obama would fill out brackets for the women's tournament. Uh, and so that clearly existed before 2022. And oftentimes when I hear politicians misspeak, I try to go find what, what did they actually, what was she actually trying to say? Well, here's what it actually is. In 2022, the Women's March Madness got the official branding of the March Madness overall brand, I guess, officially. I, I don't really even know why that needs to be a thing, but I guess the men's was deemed as March Madness and the women's was just the, the NCAA basketball tournament. Why that needed to be like a an official seal of approval by anyone, I don't know, maybe it's trademark laws, but that's what she was talking about. The thing I think is fascinating here and really just interesting from a inside the mind of Kamala Harris standpoint is that she went on <laughs> to give an interview about a thing that she didn't quite understand or really know anything about and then talked with some sense of authority. Let me, let me, let me give you a history lesson here. First of all, the women dad uh, didn't have brackets until 2022. How, how is that? But then at the very end, I don't know if you remember the very end of the clip where she was like, well, if it's, if it's more visible, then people can pay attention more to women's sports. What the heck does that have to do with having brackets? I, do you think the Terminant didn't exist until 2022? And if she did, that's a whole other thing of being out of touch with reality and therefore the average voter. I just, as a side note, especially with women's basketball, women's basketball got a huge boost with Caitlin Clark. And now that she's in the WNBA, I've never seen an organization hate their own success more than the WNBA and and how they are treating Caitlin Clark which again is it was in the women's bracket that didn't exist until 2022 according to Kamala Harris isn't it fascinating look she's trying to bring awareness to women's basketball that's fine good I uh, pro that if that's your thing go for it but she gets the entirety of all the facts wrong and two Outside of just Kamala Harris, the person that is bringing the most attention to women's basketball is for some reason hated by everybody in women's basketball. I don't know. Maybe, maybe, <laughs> we're trying to make sense out of things that don't make sense. But such is the modern political world and the society that we currently live in. 